students we are going to start new chapter that is quadratic equation before starting this chapter i would like you to recollect the chapters which you have studied in stand 9 even in 10th also polynomial as such then what is polynomial so we'll talk about polynomial first <clears throat> any expression suppose i write px it is the expression i am writing that is a0 plus a1x plus a x square plus an x to the power n this kind of expression is there and this kind of expression is called the polynomial in the variable x right and certain conditions are there for this polynomial number 1 the power or index on the variable should be non negative integers the index or power which we are putting on the variable x should be non negative integer integer we know that is set of numbers like minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 up to infinity these are the integers and this is set of integers denoted by z this is the first condition <clears throat> and the second one is a0 a1 a2 up to an r real numbers so any expression of this form is called the polynomial so what is the significance of this i will give you an example suppose if i write x to the power 6 plus 5x uh, cube plus 2x square plus 7 whether it is polynomial or not so this is of this form and second condition the power on it should be non negative integers means this 2 3 6 these are the integers and that is non negative therefore this is a polynomial second example i will take suppose if i write s to the power 5 by 2 plus 3x square plus 2x plus 3 is it a polynomial or not this is a polynomial in this case here the power on this variable is 2 that is non negative integer agree or on this x it is 1 that is non negative integer this is also true but for this x to the power 5 by 2 this 5 by 2 is not an integer that is why this is is not a polynomial so as per definition this condition should be there for any expression to be polynomial so poly what is polynomial it is clear even though you have studied i just revised this then what is the quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomials are those polynomials whose degree is 2 what is degree of a polynomial let me tell this degree of a polynomial
degree of the polynomial be the highest power the highest power or index on the variable is called the degree of polynomial degree of So is it clear? Highest power on the variable is called a degree of polynomial. So example I will write. First example. Suppose you write 3x to the power 4 plus 2x plus 7. This implies what is the degree of polynomial? This is the polynomial. Highest power on the variable x is 4. So degree is 4 in this case because highest power is 4. Here second case I will take 5x square plus 2x minus 5 this implies. What is the degree in this? The degree is 2 because highest power on the variable is 2. So here degree is 2. So this way what is polynomial understood? And what is the degree of polynomial is clear to all of you. So now I will talk about quadratic polynomial. So concept of polynomial is clear. Now I will talk a special type of polynomial that is quadratic polynomial. The polynomial whose degree is 2 is called the quadratic polynomial. So any polynomial whose degree is 2 is called the quadratic polynomial. Example I will give you that is uh, for example if I write 3x square minus 5x plus 3. 3x square minus 5x plus 3. What is the degree of this polynomial? Highest power on the variable. That is 2. Here degree is 2. Therefore this is a quadratic polynomial. So concept of quadratic polynomial is clear. It is quadratic equation. Quadratic polynomial, if it is equated with something, then it becomes equation. Equation, word itself uh, tells that if any quadratic polynomial is equated to something, then it becomes quadratic equation. For example, if the same expression or same polynomial, if I am equating with 0, example, suppose this, I have written 3x square minus 5x plus 3. It is quadratic polynomial. If I equate this with 0 or any other number or anything, whose variable has got the power uh, not more than 2. So this relation or this equation is called quadratic equation. So this is the quadratic equation. So another example, suppose second example I am giving you 5x square minus 3 is equal to 2x plus 7. Here also it is equated to something, but on the right side again, the highest power is not more than 2, right? So this is also a quadratic equation. Left hand side and right hand side both have the highest power 2. Highest power 2 should be there. In the left hand side one polynomial, right hand side another polynomial, but the degree of these two polynomials should be 2. 
In this case also, it is a quadratic equation. Third example, suppose uh, 7x minus 2 is equal to 5x square plus 6x plus 1. This is also an example of quadratic equation because if we shift this on this side, right hand side will become 0. Again, if this is shifted on left hand side, again right hand side will become 0 and left hand side will be an expression whose degree is 2. So, all these are the examples of quadratic equation. So, I will write the general form. General form of quadratic equation. General form quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c that is equal to 0. This is called general form where, where a, b and c are real numbers. And a is not equal to 0. These are the conditions ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. It is a general form of quadratic equation and a, b, c are real numbers and a not equal to 0. What happens when a becomes 0? If a is equal to 0, c, this will become 0. So 0 into x square. 0 multiplied by anything becomes 0. Right? If, first case, if a is equal to 0, then 0 into x square plus bx plus c that is equal to 0. The equation becomes like this, right? Suppose this is right first one, so we will write from 1. So therefore, this part will become 0, 0 plus bx plus c that is equal to 0. Therefore, bx plus c is equal to 0. It means if a is equal to 0, see, when a is equal to 0, this equation gets converted into bx plus c. Then bx plus c, what is the degree of this equation? That is 1. That is the power on this variable is 1. If the power is 1, it is not a quadratic equation and such equations are called linear equation. So, a should not be equal to 0. Let us see b can be 0 or not. Hmm? Second case, if b is equal to 0, if b is equal to 0, you see what will get, what will you get? That is ax square plus c is equal to 0. If b is equal to 0, this part will become 0 and ax square plus c will remain on the left hand side. So, this is a quadratic equation because the degree of this equation is 2. In the same way, if c is 0, third case, if c is equal to 0, we will get ax square plus bx is equal to 0. Again, c is equal to 0, then ax square plus bx will be left. So, left hand side is the expression, that is quadratic expression, that is equal to 0. So, again, this is a quadratic equation, this is quadratic equation, but this is not a quadratic equation. Under what condition? when a is equal to 0. So, any quadratic expression, if it is equated to 0, then it becomes quadratic equation. Condition is there, the coefficient of x square. See, a, b and c. a is called the coefficient of x square, b is called coefficient of x and c is a constant. Huh? Constant means it is coefficient of x to the power 0, you can say. So, coefficient of x square should never be 0. Then only this equation, quadratic equation will be, will remain quadratic equation. If a becomes 0, then it will become a linear equation. Right? So, now next I will talk about what is the meaning of solution of a quadratic equation. By now, polynomial is clear. 
quadratic polynomial is clear quadratic equation is clear and now we will go for solution of a quadratic equation what is the meaning of solution of a quadratic equation so general form of the quadratic equation i will write that is ax square plus bx plus c that is equal to zero it is a general form of quadratic equation where a b c are the real numbers and a is not equal to zero that i have already told you what is the meaning of solution of this equation solution means any quadratic equation the value of variable which satisfies the equation is called the solution of the equation these solutions are called zeros of this quadratic equation also so in general if some quadratic equation is given then we are supposed to find the solution of it it means we want the values of the variable whatever is there it may be x it may be y it may be any uh, variable chosen so uh, the value of the variable which satisfies the equation and that we have to find out <coughs> the values of the variable which satisfies the equation are called the solution or zeros of the quadratic equation with the example things will be more clear to you right i will take one example Suppose I write x square minus 5x plus 4 that is equal to 0. This is the quadratic equation because degree of this equation is 2. So for different values of x, I will see whether this equation is getting satisfied or not. So first let x is equal to 1. We will see with the x is equal to 1 whether the equation is getting satisfied or not. See. In any equation, this part is called left hand side. Left hand side of the sign of equality is called left hand side. In short, it is LHS. And right side of this sign of equality is called RHS. So this is called LHS and this is called RHS. So x is equal to 1. So on LHS, we will put the value of x and we will see whether it is equal to. Uh, value given on right hand side or not then if it is equal then we will say the equation is getting satisfied so lhs we will see that is equal to x square minus 5x plus 4 if you put x is equal to 1 so 1 is square minus 5 into 1 plus 4 that is 1 minus 5 plus 4 that is equal to 0 it means that is equal to rhs because rhs is 0 so by putting x is equal to 1, equation is getting satisfied. Therefore, I will say x is equal to 1 is solution of this equation. Or it is a 0 of this equation, either of these two. Second case, if x is equal to 2, at x is equal to 2, you will see whether 2 is the solution of this or not. So, LHS is equal to x square minus 5x plus 4, that is 2 square minus 5 into 2 plus 4, that is 4 minus 10 plus 4, that is equal to minus 2. And this is not equal to RHS. Because RHS is 0 and we are getting minus 2 over here. So, it means this value of x is not satisfying the equation therefore x is equal to 2 is not a solution see the definition and accordingly the values of x now third case if x is equal to 4 
suppose we are putting x is equal to 4 then what kind of uh, relation we are if x is equal to 4 then whether it is satisfying the equation or not that we will see so LHS that is x square minus 5x plus 4 that is 4 square minus 5 into 4 plus 4 that is equal to 16 minus 20 plus 4 that is equal to 0 and that is equal to RHS. It means x is equal to 4 satisfies this equation therefore x is equal to 4 is the solution of the equation. So there are two values 1 and 4 which satisfy this equation. This means there are two solutions. So remember one thing in a quadratic equation where degree is 2 highest number of solutions will be 2 only. So therefore answer will be in this case x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 4. These are the solutions of this equation. So concept is clear. What is quadratic equation and what is the meaning of solution of quadratic equation which are different methods of solving the quadratic equation that will be told to you. Till then all the best.